it's Savage HD here. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video for you guys. Today, I am going to be talking about the top three best guns in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, but in its own category. So, SMGs are telling you the best three, ARs, best three, all that, so on, so on, and so forth. And that is all my opinion, guys. So, I'm doing this video. Usually, don't really do these kind of informatic videos, but I'm um, usually when I live stream or just regular comments in my videos, people keep on asking me, What's your favorite gun? Um, what attachment should I put on this gun? What should I, what, what's your favorite gun? What's the best gun in the pistol category or whatever? So today I'll be doing just that. So let's start off with the SMGs, guys. So for number one, I have the VMP. Number two, I have the CUDA. And number three, I have the Vesper. Now, I am a huge, huge fan of SMGs in BO3. It was really tough, um, tough uh, to pick three, the third position. I put the, I put the Vesper. It could easily be the Razorback. It could easily be the Weevil. These two are very good SMGs. But I just put the Vesper. Now, VMP because honestly, this is my favorite gun and BO3 hands down out of all the categories. This is my favorite gun. It has a really, really good fire rate and the recoil is really, really well manageable and it's such a good gun i highly suggest you guys check this gun out and also check out the best class set video i did on this now next up is the cuda same thing has a really good fire rate balance recoil it is a really good smg as well you put four grip and quick draw on this you can bomb Now finally, I put the Vesper, it could once again could easily be the Weevil, I love the Weevil and I love Razorback as well, but uh, for the Vesper, I chose it because it recently did get a buff, and if you are new to a really short range map, you can easily melt people, I believe yesterday or two days ago, I did a Vesper video, and I honestly did really well, I really, I'm happy that Treyarch did decide to give another buff. Now on the AR assault rifles, number one is right now the KN44, number two is the HVK30, and number three is the Man of War. Once again, the number third, number three spot was a bit easier this time because not many contestants in ARs except maybe the M8 and the ICR. Not a huge fan of the XR2 though. So number one is the KN44. This is a really good AR. is such a powerful weapon. It has really good um, fire rate and decent recoil. If you put a grip on that quick draw, you are set, guys. It is a really powerful weapon. I highly suggest you check it out. Number two is really, really close. Number two could have been easily be number one, but the HVK30 is in our second spot today, guys. It can be technically called an SMG because how fast its fire rate is. You can melt people easily. You can, can honestly, once again, can be called as an SMG. High fire rate, melting people down. And finally is our Man of War. This is so good if you have rapid fire on it. It is such a strong damage gun. It can... Two shots, two or three shots, and the enemy's dead. If you have all shots down, it does have a slow rate of fire. So if you put rapid fire in it, it is deadly, guys. It is amazing. Next up to our shotguns. 
we have the Argus in our first spot. Second spot, we have our 205 Brecky. And number three is a tie between the Haymaker 12 and the KRM. It depends what you put on these two guns to make it your number three spot. So first up with the Argus, it is... Uh, Honestly, I find it really, really similar to the KSG in Black Ops 2. If you have good accuracy, I highly suggest you check this gun out. The aim down sight is so quick, it can, it is amazing. The range on this, again, it is deadly, a deadly weapon. Once again, if you're in a short range map, you can lay down the law, guys. It can be a really, really good shotgun. Now number two, I have the Brecky. If you have rapid fire in this, because it is a two-shot kill, it is a semi-automatic shotgun. So if you put two shots in the enemy, he is quickly, easy, done, done. Like he is killed. He is done for. So if you put gong ho or rapid fire, if you it is a really good shotgun. If you run and gun, you know, you can rush, you can really kill people and really do well. Now, I, once again, I did a tie between the Haymaker and the KRM. If you do not know Drifter, he did a video on the Haymaker. If you put suppressor on it, he was a melting people down. So, um, now, for the KRM, it is okay, but the range is really bad, guys. You can get a lot of hit markers on this. But, if you put long barrel, and if you're in Nuketown, or really, really small map or combine, you can really lay down the wall. But I think our top three will remain Argus, Brecky, and Haymaker, guys. Haymaker is a full auto shotgun, has the fa fastest fire rate in the shotgun um, in the shotgun list. So it is a really good shotgun, but that is our number three. Now, next up, the LMG, the light machine guns. We have in our first spot an easy pick, Dingo Man. The Dingo is such a good LMG, and our number two is BRM, and our final um, LMG is the 48 Dredge, guys. So first of all, why I picked the Dingo? Because it has such a high fire rate, and the recoil is really, really good. You can, once again, I'm saying this again for Nuketown, because Nuketown is a great map. But for any map, really, the Dingo is so good. High fire rate, damage is good. You put, because uh, I find the, the sights is okay, but I prefer an ELO sight. ELO, quick draw, and grip. You can put other attachments, but those are the three main ones. You put that, you run and gun, it can really, really do really well, guys. Next up is a BRM. It is just like the Man of War. Um, slow fire rate, but high damage, and um, recoils really well. But if you have rapid fire, this once again, you can really, really do really well. And lastly is the 48 dredge. Um, I'm not a huge, huge fan of it, but it's still not bad. It's a six round burst, auto burst uh, LMG. It shoots relatively pretty quickly, so if you put rapid fire on that once again, it can really do really well. And um, I really suggest you check out either the, the pretty much the Dingo, it's such a good one. Next up is the snipers. So first up, we have the H the SDG 100. 
it is a bolt action sniper rifle and it is one shot to most party body parts and uh, a bit like waist down i believe you might get a hit marker but it's a really really powerful powerful um sniper rifle the only only problem is that the abs time is relatively slow and the uh, regular side of it is pretty so you can either put a very three sight or a thermal sight that's what i prefer to do Number two, we have the Locust. It is more of a ballista type uh, sniper rifle from BO2 if you want to compare it. And yes, it is more of a DSR. But the Locust is once again, um, is a one shot kill from wa from uh, waist and higher. So your stomach, your chest, the head, and it's all one shot. But uh, it is not a one number one spot because you can get some pretty bad hit markers. So that's our number two. And our final sniper rifle is the Draken. It is a semi-auto sniper rifle. It is usually a two shot to the body or one shot to the head. Um, I find this a really good sniper rifle. You can compare it to the AR, AR Shiva, but uh, with a better, better fire rate. And um, all of these guys you can see right now, we are going through clips of the guns. And finally, the last section of today is our pistols. Now, in our first spot for the pistol is the RK5. Number two is the LKR9. And number three is the MR6. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the pistols. Don't use it a lot. But uh, when I need to, I really rely myself to the RK5. It's a three-round fast fire rate um, pistol. It is a really good pistol. And number two is the L Car 9. It has a really, once again, high fire rate. It's full auto like the L, like um, the Cap 40 from Black Ops 2. It is really high damage. But the only thing is the clip uh, is relatively small. Infantry neutralized. And finally is our semi-automatic pistol, the MR6, the strongest damage in the pistol class. And um, it is really good, I would, I would find the MR6. Um, could go to number one, because if you have a good finger trigger, you can really do some damage with this. And uh, that is all for today, guys. Hopefully, you did enjoy this informatic Black Ops 3 video. If you guys, you guys asked for, you always asking me what's my favorite gun in Black Ops 2, uh, Black Ops 3. Sorry, what is my favorite SMG? What's my favorite LMG? And all that. So there you go, guys. I showed you guys what it's all about. And uh, tell me in the comments if you want to tell me the best top three or top five specialists and my favorite score streaks to run. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you a ton. We are almost at 540 subscribers. And thank you once again for 20,000 views. My name is A7HD. Thank you for watching. Peace out, guys. Don't forget to stay safe.